So everybody, one, two, switch is now finally out and I decided, you know what? Let's make a video to give my first impressions on it. Now, one thing I want to note before I start talking about this game is that no one on my friends list had bought it. And this shouldn't be surprising because it's a very spur of the moment release, but there is at least one person that buys a game on launch day in my friends list. And I have at least a hundred friends in there that I've gotten from streams and other things. And there has been nobody. I checked my friends list several times and nobody bought the game. Let's go through some of the positives before I get to the negatives because there are quite a few negatives, but the biggest positive I took away from this is the overall design and layout of the game. The layout itself is very well organized and it's very appealing to the eye and I really, really respect what they did here with that. The look of the mini games are a lot better than the original, which is good because the original looked very lazy in terms of a layout. This one does not have that same issue, which is a good thing. So in the modes that we played, we did three 20 minute rounds and I really like that addition here where you can customize the amount of time you're playing for. You can go from 20 minutes to 60 minutes, which is definitely an improvement over the last game, which just had you end whenever. The mini games themselves are just kind of fine and plain. Just like the original game, they're not very inspired. They utilize the Joy-Cons a lot. I haven't played the phone version yet, but I envision it's gonna be roughly the same. One of the mini games that I did not like whatsoever was the bunny one, which was incredibly uncomfortable to play. I'll have the gameplay on screen to show you what I mean here, because what they are doing on screen is quite literally what we were supposed to do in real life and it kind of took away from the game be just because of how uncomfortable it was. Now I get part of the charm of 1-2 Switch is to put you in situations that you probably wouldn't find yourself in any other way, but this one kind of just goes too far in my opinion. Now thankfully this was the only mini game that me and my family were actually uncomfortable with. The other ones weren't too bad. The red light, green light mini game got incredibly tedious just because of how annoying it was. This isn't necessarily a knock against the game itself, more rather an opinion or a nitpick I have with it. One of the mini games that I really, really enjoyed was the Find the Joy-Con one because it utilizes the Joy-Con's rumble to make a vibration as you try and find the Joy-Con that the other team hid. These types of mini games are the ones that I enjoy the most because they utilize the Joy-Con's full capability to make something pretty cool. Take the ninja mini game for example, because you've got two other people throwing ninja stars at someone who's trying to block them with a sword. You literally cannot do this on another console and I think that's pretty cool. Now is this game a system seller? No. Is it just a compilation of mini games that you can play with your friends once or twice before you drop it? Yes. This game was obviously made for a more niche audience because I didn't see anyone wanting a new 1-2 Switch game. But does this game serve that niche audience? Absolutely. This game is incredibly generic, but that is what it's supposed to be. It is just another 1-2 Switch game. Determining if this game is worth the price tag, it really just depends on who you are. As a family game, this game is perfect because you will get a lot of laughs out of it. But as a party game, I really don't think this will hold the room for more than 20 minutes. You are way better off spending your money on something like the Jackbox Party Pack, which adds more variety to your party experience. Nintendo advertised this as if it was more of a party game rather than a family game, but I'm just here to tell you that it isn't. But that's just me. What do you guys think about this game? Let me know in the comments below and make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out, everybody.